Okay, welcome to the webinar. So um, we'll go through the uh, order flow here in Bookmap uh, and um, uh, start to integrate and implement a lot of the things that we just uh, finished up in the educational course, uh, parts one through four. Uh, but let's start off here with the risk disclaimer. Uh, uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And uh, let me get to some uh, uh, issues here. Um, at, first off, uh, this is where you can find Bookmap if uh, you want to give it a try. Uh, it's at uh, bookmap.com. And uh, let's see here, where am I? All right. Uh, so under the pricing tab, uh, you can find it here. And um, uh, you can see there's the basic uh, and the advanced. And um, ah, you can't see my screen. Okay. All right. Okay, well, let's try that again. Okay, <laughs> that's better. Okay, thanks, John. Okay, uh, you can see the risk disclaimer here. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. You become a member there. You'll have access to free resources. Uh, and then um, uh, support at bookmap.com is the uh, email if you have any uh, issues, questions, comments, etc. Uh, here's where you can find Bookmap if you want to give it a try. There's a basic and the advanced version. You can see the price here. Uh, they're billed quarterly uh, and um, it's for a 14-day trial period uh, and you get to try it out and see if it uh, works for you. Uh, and um, there is also now an offering for Bookmap with equities with the DX feed. So this is still the same basic and advanced version here. It's just packaged with the DX feed. Uh, that's the only difference between these two here. And um, the uh, difference between the uh, book map and advanced, uh, basic and advanced here uh, are all of the add-ons, okay? The ability to trade from the chart and uh, all of the different add-ons that uh, we went through uh, yesterday in the uh, part four of the educational series, okay? A uh, few... Um, uh, notes here, there is a, a an event coming up here uh, you can uh, register for. Uh, this is, uh, we're not having the webinar tomorrow, so uh, this is where uh, you can, um, I'll just put it into the chat there, uh, daytradingexpo.com slash bookmap, uh, and you can see here, this, now this is at 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Central Time. Okay, so uh, just note that, that's when I will be presenting. Uh, you can see the other presenters as well. Uh, I'm not familiar with uh, a few of them here, uh, but um, uh, one that uh, you might uh, uh, take a look at as well uh, is this uh, uh, Connor Megan from uh, Top Step Trader uh, that talks about getting funded uh, in, a, in a trading account. Uh, it's uh, basically a prop, uh, prop firm, uh, and um, uh, you can uh, see that one there, and then you can see that uh, Jason Love uh, we've had him on before. Uh, he'll be presenting at 3:15 uh, as well. So there, there are multiple um, events going on at this day trading expo, and um, uh, the one that uh, Bookmap is uh, uh, our our slot here is at at 12 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, no webinar. Well, it is a webinar tomorrow, uh, Francisco. It, this is it. Uh, it's going to be at this time here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, good. So uh, yeah, and you can see the the title here: uh, order flow pr order flow principles and mechanics to fine tune your trading. Okay. And we'll be looking at the live market just like uh, just like we do here. All right. Okay. Um, so let's uh, also take a look at uh, other. Um, a few other things here. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter, uh, you can see that you're going to get the most up-to-date uh, info here. As you can see, uh, there is a, a tweet here. Uh, you can see that uh, this was a, a, a tweet about Amazon. Uh, you see retweets, uh, etc. cetera. So um, uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, you're going to get the most updated information. Uh, this is where you're going to find the um, a Bookmap education course we just finished up. Okay, It's under this playlist here. Uh, let me show you. Go to book. Uh, go to YouTube.com, uh, 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 the Bookmap um, channel uh, here, and uh, let's see. So we have the four videos here, part one through four, uh, and uh, it's in. If you click on playlists, uh, this is where you're going to find it here. 
under the um, Bookmap Education course. Okay, so just click on that, open it up, uh, and uh, they're all accessible here. Okay, let's see here. What else? I think that's about it uh, for uh, for new users. Uh, so if we have some uh, new Bookmap users in the room right now, uh, this uh, day trading event um, there is a special offer on uh, on Bookmap. Uh, so if you uh, if you register for the event, uh, so uh, let me know uh, if you're interested in that, uh, and you can email us at uh, support uh, at bookmap.com. All right. Okay, it's only for the advanced uh, bookmap version, uh, but it's a, it's a nice offer, okay? Okay, I think that wraps it up there with all of that. Uh, let's get into um, uh, the markets here. And uh, I wanna uh, first off start with um, uh, any questions uh, that you guys have. Uh, so um, uh, there was a lot of material uh, that we went through and um, uh, if, do you guys have any questions on any of it? Uh, and um, be happy to, uh, that's what these webinars are for, uh, to, uh, to cover all of that uh, material and information, okay? Because uh, the webinars, what we're gonna do is we're going to support uh, that education process. We've got it all documented now. You can always go back and review it, uh, and uh, so it's there for you. Uh, if uh, you have any questions about things, you can always go back, uh, look it up, uh, you know, watch it again, uh, and then come in here and ask any questions because we're going to go through the process here. Uh, we're just going to do it in the live market. So we're going to be supporting our, our, uh, our education uh, with uh, uh, the live, um, uh, live analysis of these markets. Okay. 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 So let's see. Uh, S&P is uh, really not moving too much. So I was thinking of looking at oil. Uh, the... Um, uh, let's see, can you see the live feed on crude? Yeah, uh, I think we will take a look at crude. I mean, we are getting a, a rollover in the crude contract uh, today, so uh, be aware of that. And um, yeah, wh why don't we take a look at crude, uh, in fact, uh, because um, it's pretty interesting to see just in bookmap, um, you can see the rollover period uh, with the, uh, the order flow in the auction. Uh, which is always uh, it always fascinates me to see this. Um, so um, uh, we'll take a look at crude, and um, uh, we we do have the um, uh, Amazon Prime. That is true. Uh, yeah, we could uh, we could take a look at uh, at Amazon as well and see how that's going. Um, so, but uh, we'll start off with crude, uh, and we we do have the. Um, there's not a lot of news uh, today. It's going to be later in the week. So. Um, uh, tomorrow with crude, we have, uh, you know, obviously the uh, inventories. Uh, that'll be the big event uh, for crude. Uh, and um, and you can see that we're uh, on this hour chart here in Bookmap. We're trading up at highs uh, for for a range here uh, that um, uh, you can see in this hour chart. Uh, so um, they're already kind of, um, uh, you know, boosting up the price here, looking for that um, oil inventories to be a, a negative number. All right, as compared to uh, uh, what it was before. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Well, uh, the process that we go through. All right. We look at the higher time frames to begin with, and we just want to outline uh, some structure here, uh, and then we're going to continue on. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm looking at crude here, and uh, well, I, I can see that there's some wicks here at the top. So immediately, I, I'm very interested around this uh, 4488 uh, level. Uh, here's 45, the figure uh, just above it here. So uh, uh, also I'm interested in that. And um, just start to, um, you know, input some lines here uh, and uh, mark out some, uh, uh, some structure. Uh, this is what we did in the um, uh, education part uh, two. And uh, we just, uh, we want to get reference uh, to some, uh, some levels here. Uh, and then uh, we'll continue to drill down. Okay, so they were selling here before. You can see the wicks, and they're starting to sell now again. Okay, uh, let's see. You could draw, draw a little bit of a trend line here, uh, and uh, we can also look at um, uh, maybe the the bottom here, uh, somewhere around this area here. 
uh, and then maybe the bottom here as well. So somewhere around this uh, 4380, uh, 82 or so, uh, looking at that swing down here. Okay, uh, let's drill down uh, quickly into a five minute chart just to get an idea of some of the structure. Okay, pretty strong move to the upside as you can see. You can see the uh, nine o'clock, we actually gapped up and uh, uh, we came back to that um, uh, open uh, and uh, we didn't even fill the gap, right? It was pretty strong, so we kept on going up uh, and uh, that is uh, that is crude for the moment, okay? so. Uh, We'll take a look at the, you know, the, uh, you can see the trending day, obviously, uh, in crude. And this is one of the structures that uh, we were looking at and analyzing uh, in bookmap. And I want to show you what this looks like uh, in the order flow. Okay. This is how you're going to be able to use uh, bookmap because we've got all of this data recorded for you. Okay. The candlestick chart is not giving it justice. Uh, and um, uh, anyway, no, uh, Felix, I'm just looking at uh, just, uh, outlining some uh, some structure here, uh, and now we're going to take a look at book map. Okay. Okay. So here's crude. Uh, you can see the move to the upside here, uh, and um, uh, this was. Uh, oh, I see. I actually started collecting data here a little bit uh, past uh, nine thirty, so uh, uh, we don't have that nine o'clock open here on crude. Okay, uh, but um, uh, anyway, you can see the up upside here. Uh, we're in an uptrend uh, in crude, and uh, we're testing up in, into that um, uh, 4488 level we were just looking at. Uh, and then now I'm seeing quite a bit more information here. Okay, uh, and um, uh, we can start to um, uh, take a look at this in a lot more depth. Okay, so we're showing up uh, to the auction here. And what we want to see and understand here uh, is the majority of the participants. Uh, how are they behaving here uh, in this auction? Uh, and um, uh, we want to um, uh, get, a, get a feel for uh, what's, what's the environment, what's going on here, okay? So um, I, I am very curious about uh, uh, maybe seeing, you can see the breakout from this area, large dots, a lot of volume trading here, very strong breakout to the upside. Uh, and uh, through all of this liquidity here, okay, around this, um, uh, you know, 44, uh, 60 area here, okay. Uh, so um, uh, those traders, uh, well, you know, they they, uh, uh, they they got their fill, okay. So maybe th these were targets. Uh, maybe they were short. Uh, maybe if uh, if that's the case, uh, then uh, they're going to be getting stopped out somewhere above. Uh, you can see that uh, a lot more absorption uh, up in this area here, okay? Let's drill into that area and take a quick look, okay? All right, okay. So we covered this. Uh, this is one of the um, uh, uh, phenomena that we see uh, in book map very, very clearly, uh, and here it is, okay? Absorption. Uh, so we came up into this 44.90 level. Uh, you can see the large orders here uh, in book map. Right. This uh, uh, we had uh, for for crude. This is this is very very high liquidity. Uh, we have uh, we can use this rollover tool here. We had 283 contracts here, and then they started to pull uh, some of it uh, as as uh, price tested into 44.90. Uh, so now it's down to 246. So we went from they pulled about uh, 40 contracts, but you can see that they're trading into that area here as well. Okay, we see 31 traded here. Uh, three, uh, two, uh, and then basically, uh, really, um, uh, I mean, this is, a, it is absorbing uh, all of the buying, right, with the limit orders. They're staying in the book. They have the intent to trade here at 44.90, okay? That, there's no question about that. Uh, uh, we see some of it being pulled uh, and added to higher levels here, as you can see, uh, with uh, these uh, little bit uh, wider shades here. Uh, in this area, uh, but uh, uh, this area is being absorbed uh, with the limit orders, okay? Uh, and we don't come back up and trade into that area uh, yet again today, okay? So this area is holding here, all right? Uh, let's see here. 
can. Is there a version of Bookmap that allows a deeper custom analysis? Can the delt can the data stream be fed into another comprehensive software package to make the stream uh, more objective? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how you can make this stream more objective. To be honest, uh, Ken. Um, so the uh, I mean we're looking right at uh, you know how this market unfolded. Um, you know what uh, uh, the only thing that uh, might be a, a bit more objective would be that. Uh, uh, you, you would be looking at the uh, the numbers here, okay, the, the figures uh, instead of this graphical representation uh, in Bookmap, all right. But you, we can see exactly what's going on here, okay. Uh, and um, it's all it's all recorded and plotted and given a graphical representation, okay. Okay. Uh, no, Francisco. I mean, I mean, this area is being being absorbed. I mean, uh, uh, they're trading into it, uh, and um, uh, you know, they're not they're not. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, you can kind of get into this and 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 start to split some hairs. Uh, I mean, because uh, you can see that there's not. I mean, we charged up into this area, and that there was uh, a lot of buying that uh, uh, we went through these areas and traded through, uh, but um, uh, up into these areas here. Well, there are more limit uh, sell orders than buyers, okay? Yeah, there's no follow through. There's no question about that. Uh, but, um, and, and you can start to, you know, make the case and, and argument. I mean, you're kind of splitting hairs here where, you know, maybe some of this is kind of like exhaustion, right? Uh, we're trading up into this area and uh, uh, it's not exhaustion because we do have trades, okay? But um, it's starting to behave a little bit like that because we, we know exactly what traded up here. 42 contracts traded here. That was it, right? So there's, there's, there's no, uh, no follow through like, you, like you're saying, okay? Um, but uh, it is, it's also uh, very true and, and, and defined. Uh, this area was absorbed. Uh, all of that buying pressure here, uh, not much, uh, it was, was absorbed. Yeah. Well, price ultimately rejected. Uh, that that is true. Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the things I alluded to earlier, uh, you can see here. Look at how um, we see. This is the kind of behavior that we see very typically uh, in um, uh, the auction process uh, on rollover. Okay, look at how they're they're hedging in and out. Uh, you know, they're they're um, uh, rolling over their contracts. Uh, look at look at how we see like uh, high liquidity in some of these little areas here in these little pockets. Uh, and um, uh, you're going to see the same thing over in the uh, the new contract for September as well. All right, so they're rolling from one contract to the next, uh, and these are market making algos here uh, working that uh, uh, price. Uh, so uh, uh, probably, uh, you know, uh, as soon as they're getting filled in some of these areas, they're hedging into the next, okay? Uh, so um, uh, anyway, that's, um, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, that this condition that you see here, uh, you're not going to see it in another week, okay? Uh, after rollover is complete, uh, then uh, you're not going to see this kind of behavior like this, okay? So um, uh, that's uh, uh, very, very typical here. So when uh, you start to see your markets look like that, well, ask yourself if it's a uh, rollover time because it's, it's pretty interesting stuff to see. Uh, that's just how the markets are behaving, okay? All right. Um, uh, I don't have uh, the crude dollar up, or, I mean the uh, Canadian dollar up, so uh, I cannot um, uh, have any sort of um, uh, correlation here uh, to, to put on crude. Okay, I could put the euro uh, dollar, I guess, but uh, I will take a look. Um, anyway, um, let's uh, let's continue on here. Um, so I really haven't even gotten to the uh, uh, the analysis here. All right, so the structural analysis in Bookmap. Right. So uh, let, let's take a look here. So what what do we see? Okay, so we're still in an uptrend, uh, and uh, we see the the um, 
uh, you know, absorption uh, through these areas up and through here. Uh, the, uh, the, I mean, the, uh, they're technically it's not, it's not absorbed. I mean, they traded through it. Okay, so uh, this is where it's absorbed up into that area. However, uh, you know, we, we can see that they're getting filled here with their limit orders. All right, uh, they're staying in the book. They want to get filled at these areas, uh, and uh, and you can see what what ultimately is happening here. This is the kind of data that Bookmap is is uh, uh, presenting for you that is very helpful. Okay? These larger players are starting to ease out of their position, and we can see the result here. Okay, so for example, uh, let's take a look at some of this uh, structure here. You know, well here's our trend line. Okay, well we've broken that trend line. That's one. Okay. Uh, we can have now a, do a downtrend starting to begin here, okay? Uh, something like that, uh, maybe a channel as well, uh, and uh, we can also draw in uh, some uh, some horizontal lines here, okay? So we're looking for rejection and acceptance above some of these areas, okay? And uh, how is price behaving in some of those areas, okay? So uh, uh, very quickly and clearly, uh, we we can take a look at some of that. Right, so we can see the breakout here, very strong breakout, because the retests they came down into this area here, uh, which is higher than uh, where it broke from. Okay, so a lot of buying pressure. Okay, and uh, you can see that um, uh, sellers were interested in this area. They came in here with high liquidity, uh, and um, I'm probably going to see some of this pull here because I don't see a lot of a uh, lot of big uh, uh, volume uh, trade within this area. It actually is trading up above here. Okay. And yet again, this, this is one of those structures we outlined in the education process and, and part two. Uh, we break out of that area and then we're looking for time and acceptance up into a new range. Okay. So do you guys remember, uh, uh, any of you who um, uh, were in the uh, education uh, part two, uh, what does it take for uh, a price to, to move out of that, um, out of that range? Okay. Anyone? Uh, anyone have any idea? There you go. Francisco's all over it. Yep. The initiated buying or selling. Okay. Yeah, that, that's correct. Uh, so we're looking for, uh, and the initiated buying here uh, is going to be. Uh, we're looking for large dots. Okay. Pulling price up out of an area. All right. So uh, uh, you can see that. Uh, well, let's let's zoom into uh, some of these areas like. Uh, uh, yeah, right, right in here, I guess this uh, is good enough. All right. Okay. Okay. I don't really see much, uh, to be honest, uh, until we get here. Okay. And that's when the buying pressure came in. Okay. I mean, we, we, you know, there's a little bit more green in this area here, uh, but as as soon as uh, it came, it came into this area, and we 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 were looking at that, right? How uh, this was, wasn't really, I mean, a lot of this liquidity was pulled here. It didn't really trade. And we can zoom into that area and we can see some of it did here. Uh, but then you can also see that it was pulled. It got darker. Okay. So uh, I'm getting some pretty pretty nice insight. Look at a little bit of a flip here uh, in the book. We see that uh, they were here, uh, but then they flipped to the other side and they're uh, uh, now with high liquidity uh, pressing up underneath uh, into the, the higher liquidity up here around this 4480 area, okay? And this is where you see all the aggressive buying come in, okay? It's really at this point here around this uh, 74 area, okay? Uh, and uh, aggressive enough that uh, we, uh, we don't even come back to yet uh, where we broke from here in this area or where this initiated buying uh, began, okay? Uh, the breakout occurred up above here uh, above the swings that we're looking at, you know, somewhere around here, we did get that retest back to it. Okay, here uh, at uh, at 78, uh, and then uh, we saw a continuation to the upside. Okay. So uh, again, like, um, uh, and anyone remember what the this was from uh, part one? Uh, what is the structure called here? Okay, this is the mechanics, uh, market mechanics uh, that we uh, we covered in part one. Yep, exactly. That's the sweep sweep of the book. Okay, so that sweeping activity. This is how we move, uh, and it's usually that uh, initiated um, uh, buying or selling, uh, sweeping up into a new price level. 
okay? Uh, and then at that point, what we're looking for here uh, is we're looking for uh, acceptance, time and acceptance above that area, okay? And uh, yeah, we didn't even get a retest back down here, okay? Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of sellers in, uh, in pain as well, uh, that is true. That's always the case, buyers or sellers in pain. Um, okay, well, you know, we continued on and we can see that uh, we even got another sweep uh, in this micro range here, okay? We had a little bit of a time and acceptance here, uh, and then uh, and then you can see that uh, more initiated buying right in this area here, pulling price up uh, into uh, our 44.90 level here, All right? Okay. So now we're starting to see uh, some cracks in that though, right? Uh, we started to note it uh, uh, when we started to uh, have, we uh, inputted our, our trend line. Uh, we inputted the uh, uh, downward trending lines here. We started to note uh, the condition here of lower uh, lows uh, and um, uh, lower highs. Okay, and uh, look at that. I mean, uh, it's just right right in the channel. Uh, so um, uh, you know, you can see that that, that is. Uh, uh, still the case here. In fact, now I'm I'm really curious. I want to see if these buyers start to jump in. Okay, uh, and why is that? Okay, because this is where that initiated buying started right here with a very very strong move. Okay, so if those buyers are are still in the game here, uh, then this is where they're going to line up. Okay, and actually uh, I don't really see them. I see them down lower. Okay, I see them down here at the figure of 44.50, uh, and um, uh, we, um, <laughs> yeah, 44, 40, uh, uh, 55 or so. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, take a look at, at this. Uh, we'll, we'll watch it. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of volume trade down here, uh, just below this micro swing here. Uh, and, um, uh, let's, uh, let's split this out. This is what we did in, uh, part four, uh, of our, um, uh, education. So we right click in the column. Uh, we're going to split out the data and take a look at it. Okay. In fact, uh, let's um, uh, reset it as well. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to click on this, and there's uh, some resetting options. You can reset now. Uh, you can configure a reset uh, here. We'll click on that. You can have it reset every uh, minute, hour, seconds, or at a very specific time. All right. So you have that option here. Uh, there's also a conditional reset, looking for uh, uh, this uh, not to. Um, uh, if it uh, goes outside of a, a range uh, for more than uh, uh, you know a specific amount of time, uh, then uh, then it will reset. If it does not, uh, it, it goes outside of that range and then comes back in, uh, then uh, it will not reset. So you still have all your data. Okay. So let's uh, let's get down here and uh, we're going to reset this. I'm going to select the uh, reset for double click. Uh, so I just double click in, in this column now and we're re we reset the data, okay? So again, I'm, I'm starting to anticipate, let's go back, okay, current market, starting to anticipate uh, uh, buyers starting to step in here, okay, to support uh, a price uh, at this level because that's where we saw them initiate uh, buying before, okay? Okay, we're getting support here in the book, okay, look at the auction here. Uh, underneath, they're uh, uh, bidding up in in this area here. We just need all we're looking for now uh, is initiated buying. Okay, uh, we need uh, big green big green dots pulling price up. Uh, first stop, well, probably uh, in this area here, but you can see the liquidity around 70. Uh, so I'm actually thinking we're going to come up uh, uh, perhaps up into this uh, 73, 23 area here. All right. Okay. All right, here they come. Okay, so uh, big green dots. Uh, we see some selling in here too, though, right? So that's putting a damper on things at the moment. Okay, and the buyers dry up here. Okay, so uh, another rotation lower. So uh, this this uh, this this initiated buying here, uh, you can see that. Um, uh, this this failed here, okay. All right. In fact, uh, now we have initiated selling on the other side. But I mean, look at what we want to look at is the the overall delta of these. This is uh, what gives us the clue, 
right? A, a nice clue in these areas here. The overall delta of this, uh, uh, we can see that there's both buying and selling here, right? Look at our, our auction here, uh, or our, our traded volume here. Okay, we had we had a lot of buying, uh, you know, 654, uh, but um, uh, you can see that uh, there was 14 <laughs> that traded up above it, okay, compared to uh, 347 uh, on the offer. Okay, so uh, and then we have uh, 189, but then this 507 is uh, you know so we got we got both uh, happening here. Okay, and uh, the result of that is uh, you can see the range bound activity. All right, what about that auction? How does that how does that look? Well, they're still here. Uh, you can see they're they're still piling in. Uh, they're pulling uh, right here. You can see that uh, the pulling activity here. But you can see them aggressively underneath here. All right. So uh, maybe uh, maybe we'll get a flush down into our figure here at 44.50. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, again, uh, let's just see. Let's we're looking for uh, initiated buyers right back to where we were here. Okay. <laughs> that withdrawal of, of liquidity should be illegal this year. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you can see guys uh, just getting trapped down below it by one tick. Okay. Okay, we got one more rotation here. So sellers are still, they're still here. Okay. Now, the, now let's see, the, they're here, here come the buyers, right? Okay. There's some selling still involved up here, so I, I don't really like the way that that auctioned here, right? I, it's not uh, it's not the clear um, uh, uh, auction we're looking for. We're looking for big green dots pulling price up. So this is this has that um, uh, that potential as well uh, uh, for um, maybe just a, a stop run, get some people going the wrong way here. Uh, so uh, be careful in this area. Okay, so uh, look at it's in, in it's that overall delta that I'm looking at here. Okay, so we we noted here before there were there were some sellers. We also see some selling in here, uh, and then this area right in here we see some selling uh, come in as well. Okay. Okay, what about the auction? Uh, reading that auction, how are they behaving in some of these areas here? Yeah, well, we came into this area here, uh, and uh, and you can see that uh, started pulling liquidity. Okay, and, uh, yeah, they're just auctioning back and forth. Okay, there now we have some high liquidity underneath at 44, 70, and 69. Okay, we've got our structure here. Okay, we've got two lines. We have our trend line uh, as well as uh, our horizontal line, and I'm, I'm looking more around this area, maybe a tick or two below it, around this uh, 76, 77, 76 area. Okay. Yeah, big iceberg just went off in this area here. As you can see, 121 contracts traded. That was not in the limit order book. Okay. All right. Yeah, here comes the retest. So this is this is what I was looking for. Is that retest of this little area right here, right where we broke from, and wh why? Why was that? Right. Well, because I didn't see that, uh, uh, I, I would anticipate this move to happen here, uh, because I did not see this auction correctly. Okay. So uh, yeah, we got our retest, uh, and um, uh, let's uh, now we're just uh, above in this new new range here, uh, and um, starting to accept for the moment. But uh, uh, let's see if those sellers jump in here again.
Yeah, I, I, I don't like it either, uh, to be honest. Um, uh, there's a, a number of reasons that, that I don't I don't like uh, uh, this move here. I, I think the sellers are still in here, and I, I still think we're going to get down into maybe this 4450 area. Uh, one of the things, like let, let's take a look at our structure here, uh, and uh, and take a look at the structure on the higher time frame as we start to zoom out. Okay. Well, you know, we see the very strong moves, um, you know, on to the upside, but we start to see the distribution here. Look at the order flow distribution here. Okay, first off, we notice the a lot of uh, absorbing here in limit orders. All right, uh, all the way up to this 44.90 area. Okay, so a, a lot of these traders are getting uh, are getting filled uh, and uh, and average their cost uh, uh, at these higher areas. All right, and then look at the um, a, a lot of green dots at higher highs up in this area, and then in this area here. But our retest, uh, not as many. And then look at this nice cluster of volume down here. Okay, so that's taking place at a lower low, below this swing here. Uh, and then you can see that we have basically a head and shoulders pattern. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, for those those reasons, I mean, now we have now we're starting to note. Uh, distribution up in these areas okay and the order flow is giving us the key okay here and then here all right so uh, look at all that selling in this area here okay right down into where we we, uh, we broke from but is that break that uh, uh, gave us the uh, the insight here uh, to initiated buying uh, you know perhaps jumping right back in okay and they did and they did Okay, I, I didn't like it. Um, I'm looking for more, a lot more than that if we want to see this uh, uptrend continue. Okay, so we're putting all these pieces together. Uh, it, it's contextual, right? Uh, you know, we're looking for something very specific. Uh, and um, uh, in, in this case, uh, you know, it, it didn't, uh, it, it, this, you know, I mean, we, we anticipated it, but it didn't quite uh, give us the result we're looking for. Uh, we want to see this happen. Uh, you know, we want to see very big uh, pulling of, uh, uh, you know, lifting the offer up into these higher areas. Yeah, I agree. I like the 44.50 area uh, as well. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, kind of sideways now at the at the moment. Uh, it uh, it is accepting above uh, this little this little range breakout here. Uh, you can see the uh, the retest uh, and um, right back into the range. Okay. These guys look like they uh, they mean mean business though at uh, at forty four seventy two hundred and seven uh, contracts here. And uh, we now we trade into it here, but uh, only 77 traded, and they pull. Okay, so th that was tricky, right? And now they're up at a little bit higher area. Okay, 178 contracts. Okay, so we can start to. This is what. Um, uh, Starting to understand now, most of you, if you're familiar with um, a trading off of the dome, uh, reading that auction and wondering about some of these areas here, you can see that I'm barely, very uh, infrequently looking at the actual dome, okay? Because I don't need to. Uh, I, I, I'm getting that insight here uh, without looking at these numeric values here in the dome. Uh, I can see that uh, uh, this was fake liquidity here. Okay. They jumped in, uh, and uh, it looked pretty good because they were staying in the book, but they, we still hadn't tested them yet. Okay. As soon as we came into that area uh, and started to trade there, that's where we, we know uh, if it's fake or not, because okay. they pulled. Okay. So they do, they do not have the intent to trade here. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, lots of questions here. Um, let's see, you want to take a look at Amazon? Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, we, you know, looking at that dome, it, it can be really taxing uh, to, to read uh, all of that and uh, to put all those pieces together. Uh, whereas uh, here, uh, you know, we've got that graphical representation. And now we're right back to where we were, 
right? You'd have to remember these areas here, 4470, there was high liquidity, they pulled, they started to add up above in these areas here, they're pulling. Uh, and then look at them pushing underneath here, right? So we might get a, we might get a book flip, right? They might, uh, all of a sudden, uh, that initiated buying here might pull us up out of this range, uh, and then uh, and, and we see them uh, with high liquidity here on the bid uh, instead, okay? But um, I, I don't like it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not seeing any uh, any conviction here. Uh, you know, we've got. Um, uh, it's still within this uh, downtrend structure, uh, and uh, and we see our um, kind of distribution structure up above here uh, in this area uh, as well. Okay. Now we do see a lot of volume starting to trade here. Okay, we can see it here, uh, and you can just look at the dots and the color of the dots. Okay, so it's on both sides. Uh, we don't see uh, really anyone kind of um, uh, winning this battle yet. Okay, here comes some buyers pulling the price up out of the range. Okay, this looks, see see this this uh, uh, actually looks a, a lot nicer here. Uh, the way that uh, this auctioned, okay, uh, this is correct. Uh, you, you notice how like uh, we have more more buying in these areas here, okay. Uh, it's, it's this kind of uh, activity we're looking for. All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, it looks like we might get another extension of that right now. Uh, but we, we, they're, they're showing here at 4480, uh, uh, almost 300 contracts. All right. Okay, so um, putting all these pieces together, okay, we have our, our structure uh, and understanding of the order flow within that structure, uh, you know, put it, putting that all together, uh, starting to understand the auction, uh, this process here, uh, and um, uh, starting to anticipate future price movement by putting all these pieces together. Okay. Uh, we haven't even looked at some of the, um, uh, you know, CVD uh, indicators or uh, uh, any anything else. Uh, so um, uh, I'm looking for an extension here, to be honest. I'm looking for a retest now of uh, 4490. Okay, uh, this is looking pretty strong. Okay, now we're trading into these guys. Okay, so they're staying in the book here. Okay, our absorption is taking place right now as we're speaking. Okay, now sellers jump in. Okay, so that 4480, the, the, these guys, they meant to trade here. Okay, if the buying pressure is big though, uh, they'll overtake them and they'll trade through it. Okay, a little bit of a flip. Okay, let's see if uh, let's see if these guys maybe pull now. They're trading into them, uh, and they're certainly staying in the book. Okay, I don't see many iceberg orders up here as well. Okay, so uh, now the sellers are jumping in on the other side here. They 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 uh, they can have they can take control here if they uh, if they want. Okay, and they can hit the bid, and uh, first first stop would be where this initiated buying began, around uh, this uh, 73 uh, area. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where we're going to go here. 73. There we go. Okay, so you can see how uh, that my opinion changed there on that. 
as we started to trade into the 44.80 and, and notice the absorption, okay, this looks strong, right? And, and then my, my, my opinion changed on that. Look at how, you know, look at this area here, okay? Uh, we, we trade in here and the buyers dry up, uh, and then we trade again. We test it once, twice, three times, even four or five times, uh, and very little traded, 40 contracts, okay? So what do we do? We come back and we test where we broke from here. Okay, so we came down to and tested here at, at 73, right? Exactly at 73, all right? All right, okay guys, uh, well anyway, um, let's, uh, Let's wrap it up here. Let's take a quick look at Amazon. I'm curious myself. Uh, so uh, we'll zoom out here and take a look. Uh, how is Amazon behaving? Uh, and um, all right, well, we're, we're still, we're below the uh, the 1,000 mark on Amazon. Um, and um, uh, you can just see a nice flush here uh, and, and uh, real strong move to the, to the downside. Uh, here's our, our V bottom, right? Uh, and uh, look at all the absorption uh, and, and trading through all of these limit orders at this area here at 88, uh, all the way down into uh, the um, uh, uh, around this 84 area here. Okay, it's it's mostly selling as we can see. And uh, let's I'm really curious. I want to see this V bottom here and see how this uh, behaved uh, because um, uh, basically. Uh, uh, basically, we you know we saw the it continue to drive to the downside here, and then just buyers jump in on the other side, right? Uh, sellers are still still came in uh, and uh, impressed to where they bought here, uh, but um, uh, you can see that the uh, uh, then then there was no lack of lack of selling here. Okay, there's a lack of selling, right? Uh, and uh, instead, the, you can see the buying starting to take place here. Uh, and then they start to charge it up uh, and uh, and take it back up to where we broke from here and a little bit above. Okay. All right. So um, uh, I, I can't see any any more than uh, than this here on uh, on Amazon. This is all the data that I have. Uh, but uh, uh, if that is the case, and uh, Francisco was talking about some of the. Um, uh, 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 you know, this new new uh, new service, uh, new features uh, for Amazon Prime. Uh, any of those uh, uh, very bullish uh, but but weak hands uh, probably got stopped out in this area here. Okay, so uh, if you're still bullish, then uh, then this is looking good for for uh, continuation here to the upside. All right, uh, here's your V bottom. Uh, looking at uh, maybe uh, uh, you know we see a sideways consolidation here, and we're looking for what initiated buying right okay right in this area here and we're starting to get some of it okay all right guys well uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up we'll call it a day uh, and um, uh, again want to remind you about the uh, day trading expo tomorrow so um, uh, the link is in chat. Uh, I'll put it in the chat again here for you. Uh, there it is. Uh, and um, uh, this webinar is going to be recorded. Uh, it is uh, not going to be under the education course. Okay, that's going to under that that playlist. Uh, but it's going to be under uh, recorded webinars. Okay, here. All right. So click on that playlist, uh, and you can see them. Uh, they'll they'll all be here. Okay, I in, I included the. Um, uh, the course webinars in this playlist as well, uh, just uh, for your convenience for the moment, but I'll, I'll probably take them out later. All right. Okay. Uh, great show. Uh, thanks, Felix. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Ken. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, Francisco. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we're, we'll continue to do this, uh, support our, um, uh, exactly what we covered in the education uh, on a daily basis here, okay? Uh, that's what we're going to do, uh, show you how to use this tool because it's just giving you really unparalleled insight uh, to uh, 
uh, what's going on here. Here, here comes our initiated buying as we were looking for in uh, in Amazon. I mean, this is a, you know, obviously you can just say this is your flag pattern. Uh, no, no question about it. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll refrain from uh, from that kind of. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking for a return back to some of the highs here. Okay, look at them lining up here already uh, in the book. And where, when did they start to line up? This is where it's just fascinating to look at. Right, uh, they started putting up their targets, uh, the larger players uh, up in some of these areas, right in here. Okay, right in here where uh, we came back up, and they're looking for that extension. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. Uh, have a good day. Uh, we won't see you uh, in this room tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow at that uh, day trading expo link, uh, and then uh, and then we'll continue on on Thursday and Friday in this room. Okay. All right. Have a good day, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on that uh, education. Uh, happy to, uh, to help. So just reach out at uh, support at bookmap.com. Okay. Have a good day.